you know, after all of these failed recordings, if I actually kept them, I could make a pretty lengthy montage video. <sighs> Starting off here, we have Yoshi Circuit from Markar Double Dash. Although not my favorite, not that I have anything against his course, it's just, it's just very odd. Because like, you're on a freaking course shaped like a Yoshi, and yet like, it's just, I don't know, it's just bland, like, you, you, like it's very easy for you to forget that you're on a Yoshi, and you would think that would be super awesome to be on a Yoshi, I don't know, it's just me, I, I, like, I forget that I'm on a Yoshi, which is very odd, but anyway. You want to take that little that jump there because you go so fast that you don't even need a mushroom for that. But yeah, the, the but the actual cool thing about this course is that this was a Mario Kart. This was a retro course in Mario Kart DS, and it was remade a second time here. So this is the first time a, a, a retro course was remade a second time. Now the cool thing about this is that it, it, it allowed like it allowed um, Nintendo to remake other courses that were already retro courses. To be made for this game in HD, and I think that's really cool because like there are a lot of courses that re that really would benefit from the HD uh, makeover. And like, oh yeah, sorry, I, I had to throw that away because I had to scratch my head. That was really annoying. Oh god. But anyway, that's the cool thing about this course, and they have remade other retro courses in the in future DLC cups that I'll get into when I'll get into them. But yeah, this, like, oh my god, this cup, like, I'm getting really tired of this cup, because, like, it's so easy to screw up, because you really need to pay attention, and, like, I'm commentating, so, like, it's very easy for me to not pay attention, because when you're talking and you're doing something, like, it's really hard to juggle doing both both things. Yeah, I made that look relatively easily, easy, but, like, every other recording, like, the computers were, like, right behind my ass. I was like, fuck, man, give me some space to breathe. Like, for real. Next, we have Excited Bike Arena. I really like this course. But the thing is that this cup is cursed. I am telling you. Maybe I just have bad luck with eggs. I don't know if that has any significance, but like. Oh, fuck, I don't know. Like, I keep getting terrible items. Like, a fucking single banana in second place. Like, come on. And they keep getting screwed over by freaking green shells, and- oh, n oh What? What? I dropped a banana in front of the shell! Did it really just ignore it? Okay, that right there, if that wasn't proof to, of this game, like, hating me, then I really don't know what is, because, like, there's just nothing. Also, I know I tell you guys to always always hold on to your items, but when you have uh, triple red, red shells or triple green shells, and you have one shell left, it's not worth keeping that shell because like the odds of an incoming item hitting that shell are a lot lower because like the thing is spinning around you, so it's not protecting you at all times. Like having a thing right behind you all the time. Oh come on. Oh my god, he's right behind me. No, he's gonna... Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. He's gonna hit me with Red Shell, and he's gonna pass me, and then this game hates me. And uh, he's already doing a good job keeping up with me. Crap, man. Okay, I got a banana. So this is looking good. Unless a combination of getting hit by a shell and a blue shell happen. Or triple shells. Triple shells can happen too. So yeah, I like this course. <laughs> uh, okay, I got this. I like how this course changes its this, its layout every time you race on it. Like, it has like chunks and it swaps the chunks and I think that's cool. Unless you're doing time trials, time trials is always going to be the same layout for consistency and for ro world records and stuff. But yeah, I like how this stage is other than that is always changing its layout and I think that's cool. Oh, this fucking stage. This is where this is as far as I've come yet on, on my recordings, guys. I'm telling you, pay attention. 
and make sure you're super good at drifting. You're gonna be using your brake a lot here. But like, oh my god, this thing is just, this is difficult because like you have to like, oh, wait, r really? Come on. Did she have an item already? Oh, I'm so tired of this. Why, it, why is it that every time I touch someone, they, they like pull out a red, like a shell for me to ram into? Like, really? And, uh, this doesn't look good. I'm already in the back, in the back start. Like, this thing is just hard because you have to do these super hard turns. And you have to deal with these people and then, and then since I'm commentating too, like, man, this is hard. But anyway, this course is really difficult because it has these really hard turns. But aside from the from from that, I think that this course is really cool with its uh, theme. And uh, oh god, I'm in third place. What the fuck? I thought I was in third place already. We see that person. All right, I'm in first place. Oh come on! That banana just had to be there. It just had to be there! Okay. I love this course as much as the next guy. But it's hard as balls. And I'm gonna try to pay attention here as much as possible. Please, RNG gods, don't fuck me over! Oh god. Oh god. I hope I get past this far because the next course I am super good at. And I feel like if I get past this part, I can do that. And no, 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 no. Oh my god, yes. Oh god, finally. This is the hardest course for 200cc. I'm just gonna say that right now. In my honest opinion, this is one of the worst defenders for 200cc. And I love this stage. I love the, the, the theme. I love the music, I love everything about it, but it's so fucking hard in 200cc, man. Oh, yes. Now this is the reason why I'm wearing the Captain Falcon outfit, in case you guys were wondering. Unless you already knew that, because you know what, that this course is in Egg Cup. But yeah, this is why I'm wearing the Captain, Al Cap Captain Falcon outfit. Because they actually added an F-Zero course in Mario Kart 8. You know how freaking awesome that is? Like, this little panel right here, like, gives you the coins. Or in the original game, I think it gives you, like, uh, like a boost meter thing. Which is really important for, keep for keeping up. And, like, man, this course, like, I think that 200cc is pretty much F-Zero mode. And playing 200cc in, thi in this course, oh my god, it's so exhilarating. And... Watch me just fly over this entire part. Except for except for that part. I wanna I wanna land so I can get that trick. But yeah, I'm pretty used to this course in 200 CC and it's really easy for me now because I'm so used to it. Like, come on, how are you gonna have 200 CC and not immediately go to Mute City to play like F0? Because you know, at this point, Nintendo's not gonna make another F0 game. They're probably transitioning us into uh, like a Nintendo card. Like Mario Kart 9 is even gonna happen. It's gonna be Nintendo Kart. It's gonna have like all the all the Nintendo characters, like Super Smash Brothers, but with cars. Like it's still like Mario Kart, just with Nintendo characters. And I'm super hyped for that. And I'm like, and I'm down for that to be honest. I know it's not like confirmed or anything, but like, considering how they're doing DLC with this game, I think they're going to. And uh, man, I just love this. Like this is everything that F Zero is. And I love how you can actually dress up your me as Captain Falcon and have the Blue Falcon and, and go in Mute City. And you can see the Captain Falcon right there saying, show me your moves, even though that is a freaking Smash reference. I think it's a Smash reference anyway. But, oh, finally I finished this cup. And yeah, this course has the uh, the victory theme from one of the f Studio games. I'm not sure which f Studio game it is. But, oh, finally. And there you have it guys, 3 star rank, Egg Cup. Now the really lame thing about the DLC um, 
courses is that this this trophy right here this is going to be the same trophy for every other DLC track except with that sim the, with that symbols uh that that cup symbol on the trophy that, that's literally the only difference but this is gonna be the same cup and I think that's pretty lame but hey whatever but yeah finally freaking did this after freaking eight tries and yeah thanks for watching guys take care